May those that love us, love us. May those that don't love us, may God turn their hearts. And if he cannot turn their hearts, may he turn their ankles so we'll know them by their limp. Are we really? It's from a film. Old film. I believe a really old film. Uh, Who's in it? Actors! I don't know when it is. Uh, but it's really old. And it's Just called like Magula e Azam. Magula e Azam. Maguliism. 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 Is that something that happens amongst the ghouls? We have reacted to a song from this, though. From Maguliism? From, yes, from this film. Oh, we have it. Well, we have? Yeah, when? it was that one... Um, Back in 1983? I think it's actually earlier. This one right here. Remember? It had this guy in it. Oh, wait a minute. Yes. She was dancing for them and... Yes, it was very much Padmavati. Yeah. Before Padmavati. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I absolutely do remember that. Yeah, so... Wow, uh, okay. This is the trailer for that film. Got I'm it. sure it's terrible. The trailer. I, all I want to know is if it's got some narration, I'll be a happy man. But it's a, it's a, it's a classic. Uh, and so, uh, I believe it's 1960, I believe it is. So it's Bring it on. Real, real old. I'm sure it's not the real trailer. Right, it's probably a put together. But that's okay. It's got subs. Yes. Ah! Not now, I'm in the middle of a Rothschild. What? That's an old... Here candy, we go! Candy bar commercial. Hey, that guy looks like Nawaz. Isn't that what we said last time? It does, but that, that actress. just gonna say well done whoever put that trailer together not a bad trailer for as old of a film as it is exactly uh, like really well done whoever put that together not I've heard that song that song's obviously nowhere that's not from that film no, it's from something no, no, completely no. different that I'm familiar with but 
the way that they used that to make it sound like a composition created for it. Yep. The stoppage so that we could hear dialogues. There was actually a build and a flow to it. Yep. Probably, as far as an artistic level measurement, one of the best older trailer creations I've, I think we've seen. Besides Cholet. Yeah, Cholet's at the top. Yeah, that, that was 100%. phenomenal. That was a really... And I absolutely would love to watch this kind of movie. Anything that takes us back to some of the oldest... Yeah. films from India that will because obviously like the the sword fight sequence you know one shot tick, tick, and then over here tick, tick. it's a uh, home movie style yeah but it's the era and it is what began the process of people learning more about cinema I love watching stuff like yeah. that yeah and it was actually like normally old trailers you're like I don't know. You're gonna have to tell us exactly. I could probably tell. This is probably gonna be pretty. I mean, if it's gonna obviously, you you know what it is. So you're not gonna be expecting the CGI to be no. there. No. So you're you, already you're, you're, you're already giving permission. World. Yeah, give like, it permission. The CGI is gonna be bad. There won't be any CGI. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're gonna have some some really wonky, strange editing choices and maybe camera shots. You may see some, you know, whatever. The technical aspects of it are not gonna be today's standards, but mm -hmm. it's okay. Yeah. It's like if you watch. Uh, the Ten Commandments now, mm. it's not going to stand up to today's standards, but you would, you would celebrate it for what it was when it came out. And I got to just say it, that actress, and I is she a Bengali actress because her face looks like something I read in the Bollywood book about the origins of cinema in India. And I may be completely missing... Her name is Mudahabla. Madhubala. Madhubala? Uh, we'll click on... I don't recognize any of it. It's all really old. It so is. Because this came out in 1960. I may have just seen her somewhere in my book and Maybe. my brain, or I may be completely misplacing it. But anyway, it's a it's almost 200 minutes long. What is it, three and a half? Over three and a half, about three and a half hours. We've seen longer. Yeah, we have. <laughs> Look on. Uh, go ahead. Is that 15th or 16th? 16th. 16th. A 16th century prince. Falls in love with a court dancer and battles with his emperor father. Ooh, son and son so and dad. So did um, I think we asked this in the previously, but nineteen sixty. Did, did um, um, Sanjay Lee Bensali get inspired by this film? Had to have been right. Had to have been because I remember when we watched direct shot. I remember when we did the the reaction to the song. Yeah. We clearly saw the inspiration. I'm sure there's other things as well, but it reminded me so much of him that I thought there's no way he didn't see this and get inspired by it. And it also conveyed a sense of, I think I might want to see that movie yeah. when we watched the song. So yeah, clearly this is something that he would have known and seen and loved as a cinema lover and was inspired by with some of his, his shots he yeah. has. Um, yeah. I, I'd love to know where it falls and I'll look it up in our, that big Bollywood book well, that there we was got. A, there was a, um, a poll taken on Twitter. People do polls and I retweet them all the time. Mm -hmm. They said, which classic should they react to next? So mm -hmm. this is won that poll. Um, and so... Oh, it won the poll? This won the poll. Okay, well, there you uh, go. Um, so it's highly requested. Uh, I don't know where it would be. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks... I don't know if it falls into this category compared to American cinema, but like the Ten Commandments is a groundbreaking uh, But big, this looks actually big serious. Turn. Ten Commandments was a comedy. What? Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm thinking of a different movie. You're thinking of the history of the world yeah, part one. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I am. Sorry. Okay. And Mel Brooks going, I bring you these 15, huh? these 10, ten, comm ten commandments. Uh, yeah, that would have been. <laughs> I love my favorite comedy of all time, that one there about Moses with uh, Charlton Heston and Yul Brenner. Yeah. That thing. Casablanca. That's a who. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's that guy? I don't know. I like him though. He, as I was talking, he was growing a mustache. I don't and like him. Had a Stetson and yeah. But anyway, it'd be really interesting to see like the fight scenes from this because it. Looks, oh, if they have it, or well, if they just cut. And I know. guarantee, like the same thing, referencing again the Ten Commandments. You're watching it, and you realize, oh, they didn't CGI that. That's actually ten thousand background actors. You know, and that's all of those costumes. And back in the day, they didn't have to pay them. Exactly. Exactly. But I love movies like this. So uh, if this won the poll, uh, then go dance on it. What? The acting as well gets permission. Oh yes. Don't you think that guy though looks like Nawazuddin? Like like he could be his father. Maybe he is. No. No, because Nawazuddin's a totally no. I'm just kidding. I I, I honestly didn't catch a, a Nawazuddin, and it may have been because I was distracted by her 
uh, Madhubala, if I'm pronouncing her name correctly, and thinking I've seen her, and for some reason I think she's a Bengali actress because I was just reading that stuff, and I was reading Satyajit Ray's book, the book about him. So, so I'm, I'm hoping I placed that right. I have no idea. Can you say his name for me? Uh, Prithviraj Kapoor. Is he like the beginning of the Kapoors in Bollywood? It's a great question. They've, they're like royalty. Yeah. Uh, like they've been around for ever, you know, ever, ever. You know who else is royalty? Who? Sartaj. 